So now I'm going to demonstrate how to model the third part mirror the features. So this is what we have done on the first part and the second part. Why whole wizard? Then why keep sketch simple? So right now what we have over here. So I'm going to suppress the feature that have complicated sketch unsuppress the simple sketch but yet get the same effect with fillet okay so now we can get our job done with this uh, third part of demonstration So continue this our cap and I have done this part the extra part and I'm going to mirror that to another side so if I want to do a mirror to another side so first thing first I need to have a mid plan I have a mirror or a middle line but that is not a working plan I need a working plan in the middle so I will use reference geometry create a working plan basically we have three references over here and if we have only uh, use one then that will be good or two or three uh, mostly use two that will be enough so the first reference with the face this will help me to create a working plan how it stands so I want my working plan offset to the middle, uh, offset to the middle. So I'm going to use the second reference, which is the middle line. And I click on that. So that will be how we create a work plan. But be careful over here, because the angle we have to change to become zero or else if you use other angle you can see that if i put 45 then it basically give me a flip but now i i don't want so that's why i put zero and then you can see the green color on the tab fully defined and click ok so now this is how i create a mid plan or a working plan and that will be very very useful not only to use for mirror the features but in the future when you want to do a lot of uh, complicated geometry you need to know how to create a working plan so I get the things to rename then now I will use the mirror and choose the mirror part and then the features to mirror and of course i will choose from here my design tree because when you click mirror then you occupy my design tree space it will be pop outside my design tree so feature to mirror many people may think okay i will choose this extra and the preview seems is okay I think again if I put full preview now you see actually we only mirror a rectangle extrude because that feature only give us rectangle with extrude it is not with the fillet if I want to have a complete I need to include the fillet okay then I will have that complete uh, shape if you don't believe it you click OK you see I only have that rectangle that being mirrored to another side so what I need to do is of course I will edit my mirror so on the features to mirror I will include fillet as well now full preview that will be complete and click OK now you look at it then this is 
mirror feature complete. You have to know to get that geometry, what kind of features that you need to include to do the mirror. Sometimes it's filler, sometimes maybe other other features that establish a complicated geometry. That will be depend on you. You know your design the best. Okay. So of course right now what we need to do we need to have an extra cut for this hole uh, cut through and I believe this will be okay to many of you I create a sketch on that face control it then I will create a circle the middle or the center point definitely as at the bottom we'll take a look at that at the bottom of the block or the cap and you see that the distance is 0 0.5 plus 1.25 from the edge to the center point so some of you can say that oh I want to measure from that point not from that the end edge it's okay up to your preference but normally I will prefer the dimension, not the point, dimension and edge that will give me more accurate. So right now I will use smart dimension. I will do the normal dimension on the edge to the center point and I will key in a mathematic expression over here. And the distance will be good. And the radius of that circle will be 0 0.75. And if I put it out, solid will give me diameter. So all I need to do is to key in a mathematical expression again. And then that will give me the correct dimension. I doesn't need to do another side because I will going to use the mirror features to get the job done. So I end my sketch and straight go to the features tab. Choose extrude cut because I want to do a cut, not an extrude. So cut it through all. So I click OK. Take a look at that. So this is how we can get the work done. So now if I want to mirror that cutting to another side, I need another working plan on the on this side. So I will use the same procedures, reference geometry and plan. Now my first reference will be this flat face and then angle, remember to adjust that. The second definitely will be that line. So I created the work plan in the middle again. And of course, always rename your features. It's a good practice. Just a click, then we can rename it. So now, I create a work plan. So I will use again the mirror entity, and the mirror features, choose the work plan, then choose the feature you would like to mirror. That will be this, definitely. Now take a look at it. So this is good. So what we left definitely it is about the two mechanical holes on top. So again, I will just create two points on the face because I know that that point will be in the middle so I will click the point and then I will click to add relation this is the first you can do and then I will click that line so a point and a line their relation is coincident so they will stick there and of course it's still sliding so I would like that point align horizontally with it so then I will also add relation in such way so we do the same thing at the bottom and then it's sliding so I click that point even to select the point and select the edge point just press control over there 
So then, and my sketch, control A. So I have two points on top. That will help me to use the whole wizard to create a mechanical hole. So we'll choose whole wizard. Now you can choose a clean hole. So you can customize the dimension of the hole. So you can choose ANSYS inch because we are using inch. So get that size, put it in. Now go to the position. So to put the hole on this point and another point. So first we have to click the 3D sketch. Then to call out the mechanical hole preview. And click the point and another point. And click OK. Now that get the whole job done. You want to make your block more beautiful. Just hide some of the plan. Okay, choose that icon to hide the plan that might make our block not so nice to view. So and the sketch as well. Okay, and the sketch or the point as well. So now that will be the complete block we have over here. Save it.